Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab a beverage of your choice. Because today we will be reviewing Batman Superman. Uh, the Supergirl. Yeah, Supergirl. Or Superman, Batman, Supergirl. Uh, published by DC Comics. Written by Jeff Loeb. Uh, Drawn by Michael Turner and Peter Daggervold, the colorist. Uh, so what we have here is, starts out in Gotham. It's a great shot of Gotham, by the way. Uh, Batman is underwater. And he's investigating some uh, meteorites that came in. And so he's telling Batman to, and uh, Superman, they're in comms together, uh, to stay away. Because they aren't sure if there's kryptonite in it. So he's just saying, stay back. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, and he gets down to the bottom of the ocean and there is a ship there <clears throat> and due to the lack of stuff like barnacles and stuff like that is and a bunch of other stuff he figures it's only been there for about a week you see this little blonde figure slip out of the craft steal his boat and escape and it is uh And kind of, kind of going off into uh, da, 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 Gotham, and it turns out it's Kara, and she doesn't speak a word of English. Superman comes in, and this book is being from both of their perspectives uh, and this this her appearance is putting Batman and Superman at odds because Superman is like oh finally some I'm not alone because all he had was uh, all he had was the dog and Maybe something else, but that, that was it. It was just him. And so he's like, yes, she speaks Kryptonian. She says that she's my cousin. She's my cousin. Batman being Batman is like, yeah, we no proof. Prove it. You know, and so they're, they're butting heads. And he calls the other people. And, and uh, Wonder Woman comes and takes her to the mascara to train her. Much to Superman's chagrin, but then also Darkseid finds out that she's here, and his female guards come down and kidnap her. So Batman and Superman are having to deal with that while they're continually butting heads, trying to figure out if this is actually she's actually who she says she is. And also keeping her safe and then trying to figure out what to do with her. You know, do we want to uh, just let her out in the world? Because she'd been in the uh, Fortress of Solitude for about like a month, right? At this, at the, after a point. And, you know, do we, keep her the, do we keep her there until we can trust her? Do we let her out under Clark's guidance? And then everything happens. It's really well done. I there. I guess there was a movie, animated movie done with it too, for the most part. And uh, that's why a lot of this seems so familiar. But 
Jeff Loeb did a fantastic job writing it, and the art is just incredible. You have, you know, um, you have just some incredibly well done art. Maybe not that page, but uh, it's just amazing. And then along with the story, I am really glad that I picked that up. It was very well done. Moves quickly. It makes sense. You're, you know, characters stay in character. You know, you have the cynical, uh, the cynical, untrusting Batman. You have Superman, who's uh, this, you know, trust everybody type of person, but also kind of pushed to the edge and being a little bit, uh, getting a little annoyed because, you know, people aren't trusting him. And, uh, but yeah, this is a great book. If you haven't read it, read it because it is probably one of the better Batman Superman stories that I've read. I'm going to give this a 4.75 out of 5 and just say get it because it was that good. Anyway, let me know what you thought of it. If you read it, like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comics.